Hey everyone, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. As expected, the rumors were correct. The Powerwall 3 is here, and it's a lot like the Powerwall Plus. So here are some of the things that we've learned. As you can see, the booth at Tesla is freaking busy. There are people everywhere. But so this is what we've learned. It is very similar to the Powerwall Plus, so it has the inverter integrated with six MPPT inputs. It's going to support up to 20 kilowatts of solar. DC coupled, really nice. This is not an AC coupled product. It's not designed for retrofit. It's intended for new projects. And it should launch in Q2, Q3 of next year. So if this is something you're interested in, be sure to be subscribed to the channel because we are a certified Tesla installer. So if this is something you want, we would be able to offer it to you once it becomes available. We may get early access to it through distribution channels. They are currently doing beta testing. So here are some other things. It's 22 kilowatts solar input, six MPPT. So multiple array configurations are good, great for expansion as well. And then you get 13.5 kilowatt hours of storage right out the gate, 11.5 kilowatts of continuous power. You can also install this without the backup capabilities. So if you're someone that doesn't need backup, you can just install this new Powerwall 3 unit with your solar and you're good to go. You can do self-consumption, keep your costs down, and then add either their smart meter or the gateway later on if you want whole home backup because this will definitely deliver. There's still a lot of information to come about, but here's one of the biggest things that a lot of people have been speculating. Is it LFP, lithium iron phosphate? And the answer is yes. It's going to be lithium iron phosphate. This is huge news for the industry because with all the regulations that have taken place with the National Electrical Code and the California Electrical Code, as well as the residential building codes, installing batteries that are not lithium ion phosphate has become very difficult because these new codes require, like the Powerwall 2 unit, which is AC coupled, to be three feet apart. And that's really hard to find on a home is the necessary space for all of that. So the fact that Tesla is taking the initiative and switching their power wall to LFP is phenomenal. Now here's some other good news. They're not getting rid of the power wall too. That battery is going to continue to be produced and used for retrofitting. Tesla's also launching their own solar inverter. So you can get a Tesla solar inverter and then add the battery later on if you live somewhere that you don't need the battery equipment like you do in California. There's so much going on here. I'm super excited to be able to see this Powerwall 3 in person and I'm really happy to be able to share it with you. Be sure to be subscribed to the channel because if you wanna stay up to date with the latest and greatest and cool things going on in the tech space for solar and battery and renewable energy, we're the channel for that. And of course, we install this stuff too. We're a certified partner with Tesla. So if you want this product, you can request your quote online by using the link down in the description below.